Hi traders, Baba looks like a classic gap and go but I missed this trade, it just moved under the lows, I wanted to take it at the reversal point at around 245. Now I'm waiting for a pullback, so what you're seeing right now is the stock came down under the lows, I missed it, I'm not chasing it down, you never chase a stock, you just wait for another opportunity and if it's going to continue down now I will not have an opportunity to go short. But as you can see I've got a green candle, good, good. So if it comes down again, say to that point right here, it's going to prove to me that it's looking for a new low and I could short it. So I'm waiting for it to come down a little bit more and I'm going to short it. You always wait for a pullback, you never chase it down. So one green candle here and another return, potential return to the lows is enough for me to short it. Getting ready. Okay, looking good now, short. Got it at uh, 244.63 and it's under the lows, moving, good, good, come on, come on, I'm looking for one point, looking for one point, I need 230, 243.60 or so, look at the sellers at 82 now, need another 20 cents, another 10 cents or so, 20 cents or so, look at the sellers, don't look at the chart, don't look at the chart, you're not supposed to be looking at the chart, <laughs> look at the sellers, what's important here is the sellers coming down, the level 2, I've got one point right now, and more, any sign of a pullback, I'm not taking my partial here because it's still coming down, look at the sellers coming down, they don't stop, 20, 243, 20 something, if it's going to come down under 243, it's going to crash a little bit more, I don't see a pullback, therefore I don't cover my short, I don't take my partial unless I see a pullback, look at the sellers here, 243, under 243, look at that, almost two points, I'm getting one point more than I was looking for and it's just a huge trade right now, here comes two points, it just didn't pull back up, look at it, it's still coming down, 242, 38, 40, 20 cent pullback and I'm gonna cover, no pullback, I keep riding it, I don't look at the chart, good, getting close to the 242 mark, that's a whole number, it could bounce from here, it did not bounce off 243 but uh, who knows, look at the sellers, close to 242, any 20, 30 cent pullback, I'm going to cover, it's trying to move higher a bit, please don't, please don't Baba, 17, 20, 40, I should be out, took my partial, wow, first sign of a pullback, that was a huge trade, I was looking for one point, I got to one and a half, actually two and something points out of this huge mover, I did not look for it, but again, I'm looking for a one to one risk reward, but watch the sellers, they came down, well there was no reason for me to take a partial. And here comes Tesla, I had a huge $90,000 trade yesterday in Tesla and I think I've got the potential for another amazing trade today. Tesla is down 6%, now when the stock is gapping down just like the Baba case, it should gap and go, usually it should gap and go, and I'm looking for it to come down a little bit more and I'm going to short 4,000 shares and take a huge 10 to 20 point risk, which means I'm going to risk anywhere between 30, 40, I'm short now, 30, 40 thousand dollars, maybe a little bit more, but I can do that because I trust Tesla and I'm taking a much bigger risk than I take with my other trades. I usually take much bigger risk than Tesla and so far it's looking good. Okay, Tesla, come down. Look at that goes, look at that goes, $20,000, more than $20,000. It's not enough, I need at least 10 points, at least 10 points, look at, I mean this is amazing, I mean the way it moves, I was up 20,000, now it's zero, but it should continue, and yes it does, here comes $20,000, 30000 40000 it's about to reach my target, I was looking for a little bit more than four. Oh, oh! look at that, $90,000 in Tesla, look at this breakdown, this is huge, any sign of a pullback now, any sign of a pullback, look at that, $125,000, <laughs> took my partial, well, it seems like I have another huge trading session today based uh, on another Tesla trade, I trust the Tesla and it worked out, mRNA looks quite the same, mRNA started with a huge gap down, it's down now almost 9%, and I'm looking for this failure here, I'm going to short it at this failure here, now again it should be a gap and go trade, 
I mean, the stock started down, tried to move higher, but it's not exactly the same because you see the first move was down, then the second move was quite a big move up, but it's down 9%, so it should do well. I've got the same case here in INO, although this one is a little bit different, and I'm going to show this one too. It's a nice reversal. It's just a nice reversal with a stock that is down 10%. So it's, it's not really a gap and go, kind of same thing, shorting now 4,000 shares and expecting just a continuation just a continuation so uh, it, it's it's not really gap and go classic trade because the first move was down and then a pullback we just covered some of uh, the initial move down and I'm just trusting the trend here but mRNA is definitely a gap and go I feel like I want to play a little bit with BA BA daily looks like it shouldn't move higher but it's a huge move up however take a look at the market the market's coming down quite strong and B has no business moving higher and I'm about to short it. Just a scalp, an intraday scalp, shorting now 4,000 shares. Well, I'm taking a big risk here, but I made so much money today in Tesla, so I feel like I can play around a little bit. It's not something I usually do because I don't usually short a stock that looks so strong like BA today, but the market's coming down. And BA is overextended to the upside, so I guess it should come down to I'm looking for point or less than a point because you see my stop loss is over the highs and that's less than a point around 80 cents it's not looking good <laughs> that's a foolish thing I was doing here still hoping it's going to come down but it's not looking good I'm going to stop it over the highs oh just moved higher and I'm out that's what happens when you feel invincible. That's what happens when you have a $100,000 trade in Tesla. That's what happens when you're doing foolish mistakes that you don't usually do. I felt like it's going to come down. That was really gambling black, blackjack or black and red in the casino. I was wrong. I paid the price. MRNA is not doing good. Just moving over the highs and I should close it. I'm down five grand. And I should close it waiting for a small pullback, which I don't think I'm going to get. I'm closing now. Out. Well, there was nothing wrong about the mRNA trade. I, I could say I was wrong with BA, but mRNA did what I did not expect it to do. But it was the right thing to do. Shorted it and lost. BNTX. There's a different reason why I like BNTX. Well, first, stock is down 6%, but look at the momentum. Look at the first few candles here. The first time it came down, huge downside momentum. Look at the candles right now, another huge momentum. And I'm about to short it now, shorting 4,000 shares, expecting it to make another big move down. And it seems good enough. It's probably going to make it now. Well, let's see. Let's see still where I started out I need to sit under the lows I'm looking for one point at least one point in my opinion it could do much more than this okay it's moving it's moving shorted it at 8250 and here comes the one point here comes the one point here comes the one point should it continue it should continue I was expecting more than that I was expecting a big breakdown it's not getting there I should take my partial any sign of a pullback any sign of a pullback now well it did pull back up a little bit i thought it couldn't continue more than that but that was a nice one point trade and thank you mark from the trading room for posting this trade it worked out fine well mrna i refuse to give up stock is down eight percent it's not supposed to continue higher I think I should, should should have a second round in mRNA and I'm about to short, shorting here 4,000 shares. Well, expecting it to fail this time because again, stock is down 8%. It's not supposed to continue higher and the market's coming down. So mRNA is no business moving higher. I was wrong the second time. mRNA is moving higher and I will close it. If it moves over the whole number, it just did and I'm out. Well, uh, I should cool down. I should cool down again. I feel a little bit invincible here. I should cool down. Another loser. And now it's a turn of INO to give me some trouble. It's moving higher. Well, it was about to break down. It was very close to my partial point. Just bad luck. And then the market started moving higher. I'm about to close it. 
Well, closing it now. Yep, it's not doing well. Market just changed direction. The market is moving up. I know for some reason it's following the market and mRNA and L everything else. So I've got another loser here in INO. No big deal, still very green for the day, but another loser here. And here are my results. Another huge trading session today, thanks to Tesla. If I had a Tesla in my garage for every $100,000 day I had it with Tesla, <laughs> I should have had a big, big house for that. Anyway, a huge trading session. Thank you very much for watching and uh, take a look at how my trading room members are doing because seems like we've got 70, what, 3% in green territory today. That's absolutely amazing because we all take, take the same trades. We all post our trades in the trading room and we all trade together and you are very welcome to join us too. Just click here and join us for a free 14-day trial in our trading room. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004 and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.